Hi everybody. Uh, give you some information here regarding the um, blinking LED program. Just a couple of look fors. What am I going to be wanting you to do as far as formatting goes, that kind of thing, as we move forward into this 3.1 unit about programming and some of the stuff that we're going to try to do here. So first things first, whenever I open a program up, the first line I should see is something about motor and sensor setup, and I can tell that hasn't been done yet because there's nothing up here that says like pragma which is the first thing that you normally see. So I need to go to motor and sensor setup, select configure configuration, and choose the PoE SIM test bed. So now I can see, all right, your motors and sensors are set up. I should see things automatically start to color code as we get down uh, below. Then next I have the PLTW template that has the section here for a project title, your team member names, the date, the section, all of that stuff. And I want this filled out correctly because um, that's just an important deal to keep track of things like this, okay? Task description, you'll notice it just says write code that causes two LEDs to alternate and blink. Um, I got that from the, um, from the assignment itself that I wrote up for you guys, so you can copy paste a lot of that in. Notice that everything that we have here is green. That's because it's all comments, okay? They, they do green by starting with a slash star, and then it ends with a star slash down here in line 22 of the code. Everything else is just comments, okay? So the pseudo code that we have is just going to be a quick, brief overview of what I think I need to do, okay? And if we need to modify this, that's fine. But we're going to go down here to the bottom, okay? In between task main, I think I've explained this in class, but just in case, um, a couple of formatting changes, hold on. There we go, okay? Um, task main, we have in between these curly braces in line 25 and 35 are our main task, our main part of our program. Okay, we'll get into subtasks and other things later on, but for now, this is what we're working with. You'll notice that everything is color-coded, so whenever I put in turn LED off, if you type that in correctly, it will, number one, capitalization matters, so we're going to capitalize the way it's supposed to be. Number two, you'll see that it turns blue if it recognizes the command, and the way it works like is this. It says, okay, kind of like Excel, how we type in stuff, and in parentheses we say in this Excel, this is what we're looking at. Okay, this says turn the LED off, and then it wants to know which LED are we talking about. Well, we've named the LED and ours green. Okay, I can tell because if I go up to motor and sensor setup, and I go to motors, excuse me, keep on going over. Okay, in digital input output 12, I have green, which is a VEX LED. So I can name that DGTL12, or I can name it its nickname of green, which is going to be easier to understand. Okay. I'm going to wait one second. I'm going to turn an LED on. Which LED? I'm turning on green. So on and so forth. And this is going to repeat for a while. Okay. A couple of things to notice. First of all, notice the comments that I've left. This is really what I'm interested in in the comments section, more so than the pseudocode, because it's kind of the same deal in, the, in my mind. Okay. And I'm not a programming, I don't have a programming background, so I, hopefully I'm right on that. But Notice that they're all formatted, so they start in the same spot. You can use the tab button to get over there. And it tells you exactly what we're doing with each line of command. So that's what I'm really interested in. And I would suggest that maybe you start with this and then go back and you build the code afterward until you get comfortable with jumping in straight into this area here. Maybe start with the comments, okay? Notice, for instance, they begin with a green LED off. So we need to start in a rest state. If we don't do that, then we're not necessarily controlling what state we're going to be in whenever we begin. Okay, so I think that that's probably a good idea is to always say, you know what, we're just going to start with everything at rest, everything at zero. Other things that you might notice, okay, the semicolon here. There are a lot of questions for people that are new to programming as far as what is a semicolon. And the problem is this. When we program, we are going to use decimal points in the mathematical sense sometimes. So if we have a decimal that re represents a mathematical decimal, like a 1.2, we need a different symbol to represent a period because the programming language doesn't allow us to use a period for both of those. It can't tell the difference. So we use a semicolon like a period. In other words, if you could say a complete sentence whenever you were take, talking about a command, use the semicolon at the end like this. Turn the green LED off. That's a complete sentence. It gets a semicolon. At the end of this, wait one second. That's a complete sentence. Throw a semicolon at the end right? 
And we're going to do this. All of these are complete sentences. So each one of them gets a semicolon. If you forget the semicolon, it's really, really going to throw things off. We'll talk about situations later on where you don't use semicolons, but that's a couple, a couple of lessons down the line. So here is the first task that you have then. Your job is to go in and add lines to this code in order to make it so that two LEDs blink in alternating fashion, one on while these other, other is off. Make it repeat about three times and then quit. You will have to go into motor and sensor setup and add a second LED. You'll have to go get an LED out of the supplies at the back of the classroom and you'll have to actually plug it into the correct location. You'll need to give it a good name. And once you have that name, you should be able to add in the lines of code and the comments pretty quickly. I hope this helps. This is a good start for programming.